Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and we are continuing on with the 2011 AP Calculus uh, exam, AB exam. So let's take a look. Looks like they put five and six on the same page, but I'll still split it out into a couple videos just so um, it's easier to organize. And as people are studying, I find you know you can like look up the specific question that you want to do. So here we'll do number five. At the beginning of 2010, a landfill co contained 1,400 tons of solid waste. The increasing function W models the total amount of solid waste stored at the landfill. Planners estimate that W will satisfy the differential equation, this, for the next 20 years. W measured in tons and T is measured in years from the start. Use the line tangent to the graph W at T equals zero to approximate the amount of solid waste that the landfill contains at the end of the first three months. Okay, DW, DT. Okay, we're doing, we're doing A equals 1 over 25 w minus 300 now the derivative at t equals 0 uh, I need to know what w is um, at the beginning it contains 1400 tons yeah so 1 over 25 times 1400 minus 300 equals um, 1100 divided by 25 um what is that that's uh 444 okay so that's the slope okay but i want the tangent point so the point we're interested in is the point zero and a 1400 right because that's where we started off this is t and this this is w of t right that's my point so my equation my land my tangent line equation is sort of like w minus 1400 equals m t minus zero in this case we found m was 44 so w equals 44 t plus 1400 okay and then uh for the first three months which is a quarter of a t so i want w of one fourth is approximately equal to 44 times one fourth 11 plus 1400 and that's 1411 Find the second derivative of W in terms of W and use the second derivative to determine whether your answer in part A is an underestimate or overestimate. Okay, So the second derivative of this equation is I just take the derivative of this equation. It's 1 over 25 times the derivative of this, which is just dW dt. And what is dW dt is 1 over 25 times W minus 300. So I get 1 over 625 W minus 300. Now, in terms of underestimate and overestimate, remember there's, there's kind of two scenarios. Um, we're using this tangent line. So we're overestimating if it's like concave down, like this. This is an overestimate. Because like the, the slopes are actually decreasing, but we kind of assumed it's constant the whole way. So that's concave down. The other is if it's concave up, and I'd go like this, then my my the difference between the curve, like this number estimate is an underestimate. So I need to know what the, the sign of the second derivative is. Well, this is greater than zero at t at, at w equals fourteen hundred, which is the initial condition, right? So because that's positive, it's concave up which is this scenario, and that makes it an underestimate because it's concave up. Okay. Find the particular solution to the differential equation, this, with initial condition w0. So now we're going to just solve this differential equation. I'm going to do it on the next page because I'm running a little bit out of space here. I'll give myself plenty of space. So this is the equation, dw dt is equal to 1 over 25 w minus 300. In calculus AB, there's only one way you know to solve differential equations, and that's separation of variables. So we're going to bring the w down here. So I get dw over w minus 300 equals, bring the dt up, 1 over 25 dt. I integrate both sides, and I get this is the natural log of w minus 300. Now, why don't I have an absolute value? 
because um, I know W starts off above 300, so I know that this quantity is positive. Plus some, some constant. And then I do E to the both sides, so I get that gets rid of the natural log because I'm solving for W. W minus 300 is E to the 125th T plus C. This I can rewrite as E to the 125th T, E to the C because when I add exponents, I can break them out like this, and then this is just, I replace with another constant, arbitrary constant. I could call it C1 or some other letter. So W then equals C, E to the 1 over 25T, plus 300. And then I know W of 0 is 1400. When I plug in, so this is my general solution, right? If I plug in 0, I get C, to e to the 0, which is just 1, plus 300. So c is equal to 1,100 by subtracting 300. And so my exact sol particular solution is 1,100 e to the 125th t. Okay. And that wraps up that one. So let's take a look at how we did. Oh, this is the wrong question. A, 44, 1411 tons. I didn't write the units tons. Um, it's an underestimate because the second derivative is less than zero. And then C, um, oh, I forgot this plus 300 part. Wait, no. Yeah, this plus 300. I don't know why I didn't. It's, th it's this equation right here. I should have plugged this equation right here, but with 1100 plus 300. Okay, cool. Um, hope you guys found that helpful. I'll see you guys in the next video when we wrap up with the last question. Thanks for watching the video guys. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below. I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.